Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for August, okay? So this could happen at any time in August, all right? So keep that in mind. This reading may or may not be for you, so keep that in mind as well. So what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August? One more card. One more card, please. One more card. What do we have for Cancer? Okay, there we go. My nose is itching. Maybe you guys are going to kiss a fool. I don't know. But that's what I always heard when your nose itched. Uh, anyhow, bread period of prosperity and abundance rooster an arrogant boastful person you should not cross so you're going to be dealing with a arrogant boastful person but rainbow the most difficult part of the situation is over that's after you deal with the boastful person. So you're in a period of abundance. You got an angry person here that's going to poke you, chase you, uh, cause you some problems, annoy you. Roosters are pretty annoying, okay? Um, but you're going to get through it, okay? You're going to get through it. You're going to, you're going to, uh, this, this too shall pass, right? This shall pass. Um, Peace, peace, rainbows represent peace. The storm is ending, okay? The storm will end, okay? This too shall pass. You will be in a, a peaceful place when this is over with, okay? So, what do we have for cancer? What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I don't know. Some of you may be dealing with a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. Messenger. So, messenger, you're going to be receiving a message. News is coming. News is coming. You may want to, you may want to, uh, there may be something that is happening on Messenger as well, whatever Messenger it is. So you may want to look into that. Um, but there is a message that is coming either way. Could be from a Pisces, could be about a Pisces. Doesn't have to be though. What do we, what do we have? What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Younger woman. We have a younger woman here. So we do have a younger woman here that is affecting your reading, okay? Let's just get one more. Ooh, you guys get this one a lot, a lot. Deep spiritual connection, soulmate connection. So we do have a soulmate connection here. There's a younger woman involved. This woman, whoever this woman is, there's she has Pisces in her chart, okay? Um, there's also a need to slow down, okay? Because we have speeding causes accidents. And speeding doesn't always have to be in a vehicle, okay? Something, somebody is moving too fast in some situation and they need to slow down or there's going to be an accident. Two more cards just fell off the deck. I gotta show them to you. They fell right off the deck. Capricorn and 911. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn. There could be some sort of an emergency. Okay, so I'm not sure what is going on. So far we have Pisces, we have Capricorn, we have emergency, we have younger woman, we have messenger. A message is coming. Um, there's a deep spiritual connection here. There is an arrogant person around that you should not cross. There's gonna be a storm because of that rainbow okay but this will everything is gonna be okay okay everything is gonna be okay so what do we what, let's get one of these what do we have for cancer 
I don't know. I don't know if something is cold. I, all of a sudden I feel cold. It's like it's cold. It's really cold. So I don't know what is going on with that. Maybe somebody's being cold. Um, What do we what do we what do we have for cancer? I'm missing a deck. Okay, I see it. Here it is. We've got two of them. I'm gonna have to take them both. Okay, the first card is just ask. Just ask. There are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source. Your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team, and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. Ask your spiritual team for help and guidance at this time. A mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants you to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. Maybe there's a, there's a mother, you know, I don't know if this is a mother that has passed away. It could even be a motherly figure, okay, um, that is reaching out to you in some way. It doesn't have to be a biological mother. It could be a motherly figure. Um, and this doesn't even have to be somebody that has passed away. It could be somebody that is still a, that is still alive that is reaching out to you. This is like an empress, right? The empress is a mother, um, is the mother. So there is somebody here around you, whether they're alive or they've passed away, that is reaching out to you at this time and, and is wanting to connect with you. Um, I feel like there's 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 like also some sort of spirit guides or somebody that is wait, your spiritual team that is waiting for you to ask for their assistance and maybe maybe you have been asking for their assistance and I'm not sure you've been listening to it. We have messenger here. We have deep spiritual connection. I feel like you're receiving messages. I'm not sure you're listening to them. I feel like you are are very highly intuitive, but sometimes we let this world a cloud our thoughts you know um anyhow so here we go we need one of these what do we have for cancer what do we have for cancer you're going to be going through something this month where you may need to ask for assistance from your spiritual team because there's is there stormy weather ahead there is, or that rainbow wouldn't be here. Rainbows don't come until after the rain, or right at the very end of it, okay? So there's going to be some rain. There could be tears. Rain is a, you know, tears. Tears that are shed. Um, but the sun will come out tomorrow, right? Um, what do we have for cancer? <laughs> This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You do have a deep spiritual connection here. There is a, there's, there's obviously a, a, a younger woman. I don't know if it's with a younger woman. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, you deserve love. You are lovable. You are lovable. So you deserve love. You are lovable. You have somebody that I, I feel like, I really feel like it's a... It's a mother's that is. It's a mother figure that has passed away that is trying to tell you whether it's your mother or not. Could be a somebody that was like a mother to you that is trying to let you know that you deserve to be loved. You really and you have a deep spiritual connection with this person that has passed away. Just so you know, um, I do believe you're going to be having some heart to heart conversations with somebody. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So you're going to be having some conversations with somebody. You know, heartfelt conversations. What do we have for cancer? It's definitely going to be an emotional time because I feel like you may be deepening a bond with somebody. There's some sort of spiritual protection here for sure. What do we have for cancer, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Nine of coins, self, self, self-sufficient, 
stable, secure, hardworking, uh, determined, determined to succeed, independent. Um, next card out, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, challenging information, a conversation. You're going to be having a conversation with somebody. Uh, whatever is coming out is very authentic, very truthful. Some sort of information is coming your way. Um, it may have to do with your abundance. Some of you may be starting your own business. You may be deciding to take a new approach, getting this new idea. Uh, this is, could be a new, ben, a new business venture, doing something brand new, okay? Uh, there could also, I just could be honest, the King of Swords can be news of legalities. Um, this is a person that is in a position of authority that is very smart, very interested, very um, intellectual, very in intelligent, that is... Uh, coming up with a plan has already come up with a plan has already thought about something is going to be building some sort of empire I don't know if you're building an empire or they are we have somebody here that is very abundant that is very intelligent that is very smart that is very skilled that has the ability to succeed put it that way Eight of coins reverse next to that king of swords eight of swords reversed on the bottom an obstacle is being removed there's an obstacle somebody has been trapped in a situation that is not healthy but they're being freed from that situation they're re being removed from that situation there's some sort of protection here as well king of swords is a protector so this could be somebody that is in law enforcement. This could be a correctional officer. This could, I don't know where that's coming from, but this is somebody that is in protection services. Somebody is making it, or they're a protector in some way, any kind of protection. Somebody is, is going to be making a decision that is being made in a way to protect, okay? This is a protective decision, okay? Something isn't working out. They're not. Somebody's not putting in effort. They're, something isn't working out. They're not trying hard enough. They're not doing something. They're not putting in much effort. So a decision is going to be made about stability. About stability. So that's interesting um, because of that that nine of that, that nine of uh, pentacles is stability. It is security. Eight of wands. Messages. Movement. More and more and more, things are going to change. They're going to change fast. You're going to start to see some movement. Somebody may be moving even. Moving towards being independent. Somebody, you know, And I know that we have this could be the one here. But there, whatever's happening, there's going to be fast forward movement with the Eight of Wands. You're going to be seeing an increase. Maybe you're independent or you know, you've, been, you've been wanting to do your own thing. We have somebody here that is very self-sufficient that has been you know creating some sort of success they're going to start to see an increase maybe it could be an increase of money okay with the eight of wands next to the ace the nine of pentacles somebody's somebody's uh intelligence is about to pay off put it that way anyhow the king of swords is somebody that is very uh, smart that is making a decision because something isn't working out so i'm not sure what is working out but because the king of swords has the eight of pentacles behind it it's that somebody that's not trying hard enough they're not working something isn't working out there's they're not putting in much effort they're not doing something so a decision is going to be made okay four of swords reversed that's extremely exhausted tired fed up poor health uh, it could be a near-death experience. We have somebody here that isn't healthy. They're, they're sick. They're very, very sick. Um, they need help. And there is protection. There is some, some sort of divine protection here. There's a need to live, to get up. This is like exhausting. It's that somebody's I don't know if somebody's health is declining. It's declining really fast. They're not trying to make it better. They're not seeking professional help. The professional help is needed. The King of Swords is a professional. It is. It's cold. I don't know where all this coldness is coming from. It's not cold where I live. Okay. So it's cold. Something is, something is cold. It's, they're cold. There's a need for... Uh, 
healing as well. Anyhow, Nine of Pentacles, that is independent. It is success. It is independent success. Somebody needs stability. They do. They need to find their discipline. They need to bring somebody to stability. They need to pick somebody up in some way. It's interesting. Um, making a decision about stability. Somebody is making a decision about stability and about their value and worth. Nine of Pentacles is about self. It's about self-value, self-worth. Five of Coins reversed. I gotta get one more card to go with that. Seeing improvements. Ah, Nine of Cups reversed. This is like a lack of wish fulfillment. We have death here as well. So this is a major change. It's a major transformation. We definitely have somebody here that is sick. They need help. They need healing. They need to put in effort to change, but they haven't been able to. They haven't put in much effort. There's some sort of hardship here. Not accepting help. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is like help is needed. Not accepting help. Extremely... Uh, victim mentality and I'm not getting help I'm not getting help this help is needed help is needed to stabilize nine of cups reverse going overboard extremely arrogant there's somebody here that is very 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 arrogant that needs to accept help but they they are they are willing to they are willing to so you know they're gonna get sick if they don't accept help a lot they're gonna get very sick they, somebody could end up in the hospital just saying, um, there's healing that is needed, deep healing. There's a need to stabilize. There is. There is a need to stabilize. Nine of Cups reversed. That's lack of wish fulfillment. That's that's uh, going overboard. Uh, this is a nightmare of some sort. This is not having any moderation, needing, you know, definitely going overboard. Uh, neglecting health as somebody's been neglecting their health and they better get working on it. Just saying. Or they end up not waking up. I mean, I hate to say that, but somebody needs to hear it. Um, there's a need to stabilize. A decision needs to be made. Somebody needs to wisen up. They need to wisen up. They need to... They need to, there's going to be a decision that is made. Somebody's about to receive some sort of message. There's, there's some sort of communication that, that is going to increase. We have somebody here that has been neglected. Either they've been neglecting themselves because the Five of Pentacles underneath the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is self. Five of Pentacles is neglect. So somebody's been neglecting themselves, right? Or they've been neglected. They've allowed themselves to be ne neglected by another person that is cold. Whew. So there's a need to uh, wake up. Seriously, somebody needs to wake up. Nine of Cups reversed. This is a nightmare. Not happy. Definitely not happy. You deserve to be loved. Somebody, rejection is God's protection, just so you know. You may have been rejected by somebody and you're having a hard time accepting it. And you're, whoever you've been rejected by is a boastful, arrogant person. I have boastful, arrogant person a couple times. There's, there's self-medicating here as well. Going overboard, you know, drowning in... I don't know if it's drugs or alcohol or whatever. Um, drowning, it is. It's going overboard. Nine of Cups reversed. That is, ex that is definitely going overboard. Self-indulgence. That is causing illness. There's a need to stabilize, okay? There's a need to seek professional help, whether it's you or somebody else. And I know there's a lot of people in denial and think it's not them and I don't need any help. And I couldn't see that. Clear is clear, okay? You are lovable. You deserve love. I feel like there's an opportunity here that you have been neglecting to see.
Nine of Swords, extremely stressed out, extremely. This is, oh my God, this is, this is having a hard time with the challenges, with life. It's, it's uh, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. You know, it is. despair oh my god we have somebody here that is suffering they are suffering but they're unwilling to end the cycle next card is a 10 it's like I'm, I'm gonna sit here and think about this and suffer I'm gonna sit here and think about this and suffer in pain you know and self-medicate not put any effort into getting any help there's a need for professional help. There is. There's a need for a new perspective. There is. There's a need to be honest with yourself and be truthful about a situation. I feel like you are going to be receiving some sort of information from somebody that is very skilled at, I don't know what they do, but they're very skilled at what they do. They're, they may be trying to help you. This is somebody that is, in a, I don't know if it's a doctor or what could also be in protection services. There's some sort of protection here. There's some sort of skilled individual that is trying to help you in some way, but it feels like there's a, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. That's what I feel. I don't want to hear it. I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem. A new perspective is needed. You need to, uh, Use your head instead of your heart. And I know that's really big. That's hard for you. That's really, really hard for you because your heart is so big. You know, you, you tend to act on your emotions more than you do. You know, you follow your heart more than you do use your head. You, that's just the way it is for, for cancers. Can't, I'm not saying that cancers aren't intelligent. They are, but they use their, their heart comes before their head. Okay. There's a need to uh, wisen up and make a decision that is logical and accept help. Be real, be authentic, be, be true, accept the truth, accept the truth, accept the truth. If you're not receiving, if you're dealing with somebody that is cold and they're not putting in any effort and it's a dead end and you're waiting for communication that isn't coming, you need to know your self-value and your self-worth. Anyhow, I do believe that there is going to be a... You, you may be receiving some challenging information or you're going to be dealing, I feel like you're going to be dealing with some challenges this month. But I also feel with some arrogant person, you have a boastful, arrogant person here that is going to challenge you in some way. I feel like you, uh, you may be dealing with somebody that has met the one. And that could be your challenge. You may not want to believe it because you think it's the this deep spiritual connection for you. Because we've got the younger woman, this could be the one deep spiritual connection. You deserve love. And then we have the mother's love and the and the just ask right next to it. I feel like for some of you, you you may be holding on to something, you know, a connection that you've had in the past, thinking that, you know, you're gonna you're gonna wait, you're gonna wait, you're gonna wait, because I see the dead end. I see the waiting till I die for this. You know, waiting waiting for somebody that isn't putting in any effort, which is causing you a lot of anxiety and stress when you should be focusing on your self value, your self worth and communicating with somebody that is actually interested in you. I do believe you have somebody here that is interested in you. It's an it's a it could be a Pisces, but it could also be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody that is very authentic, very truthful, very honest. Tells it like they see it. But I feel like there's like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You know? 
This is the one. This is the only one. But you deserve to be loved. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Multiple. You are going to be increasing communication with a soulmate this month. You are. It may not be the one that abandoned you. Anyhow, Cancer, I feel like oh, I just cut it to death again. This is the end of one thing and the beginning of another. This is a transformation. It is a major life change. This is, this is the death of a situation. We have it twice. This is a death. It is the end. It is the end of a, a situation in your life that leads to a new beginning. You are going to be experiencing a major ending this month. And it is an ending with somebody that you have a deep spiritual connection with. And I know that you don't want to hear that because nobody does. But you are going to be developing something with somebody else soon after. This is a new beginning to follow. You deserve love. The, the universe sees that you deserve love. You are lovable. I do believe that you are going to be seeing some changes and I think that I think that these changes are needed. I think that you've been depleted, you've been frustrated, you've been waiting. You it's like a there's sickness, there's poor health. I feel like there's stress, there's anxiety, there's despair. You know, something isn't working out. You're dealing with somebody who's not putting in any effort. It's it's really uh, time for you to focus on your self-value, focus on yourself. Maybe, maybe it's time for you to uh, really put all that energy into yourself. Yourself, 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 yourself. That's a transformation in itself. So anyway, I do believe that you are going to be going through a major life change this month. Maybe it's where you just wisen up and you decide to... Uh, Stop putting in effort into a dead end that has caused you so much stress. Because you deserve love. You know, when you finally decide to stop putting in effort into somebody that isn't giving you anything, the universe will respond. There is protection here. Anyhow, good luck.